was it your plan to make that move coming up to the bell lap like you did? It was about 450 meters to go and you were by Galen. Was that, was that your plan all along? Yeah, I saw like it was like almost out 500 meters to go and I was like, you know, let me try to see how it was. Um, I think I went to an you know, easy top compared to that. Like last year, so next time I try. What's it mean to you to be on the uh, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's, it's really great. It's really great. This is my first Olympic dream, and you know I'm proud of for the army for the all support they gave me. You know they gave me all the resources and time to train, and you know, I'm pr I'm proud of the United States Army and USA in general. Um, yeah, you know, he is, he went, he went really hard, like, you know, by 200 meters to go, you know, he just went one way without looking back, and, you know, I tried, and, you know, I look back, and I made like, the team, and, you know, yeah, he is strong, so I, he helped me a lot about it, for, like, 5k to go, I tried to stay with him, so I could him as much as possible, and, you know, yeah, he helped me a lot, so. How about the, with Lagat in the middle, like, it seemed like the two of you yeah, Lagat, Lagat followed me for a while, I don't know how many laps for that, and all of a sudden I just saw him sitting, you know, and then, you know, I feel bad for him, but, you know, he tried to walk on to me more. How much, how much comfortable at that point, knowing that There is a point I felt comfortable when I looked by him, I just, as a lead went down, like, he went back, and then I saw my, my teammate following me, but it was, like, you know, a few minutes behind, and I, I, I knew, like, no one was like, okay. I was trying to take one number of time and get them try to help me out to just, you know, finish it. So. How much you, confidence did he give you that you were able to stick with Galen? A lot of confidence, like, you know, that by 10 laps to go, I knew I got it because I was still feeling fresh, comfortable, and, you know, I was, you know, I didn't feel a lot of until, like, 200 to go. So when I took a move, I feel I didn't feel anything, but at 200, he just came around me, and, you know, I was kind of lucky that, you know, I thank him for that, for letting me. How hot, how hot was it? It was pretty hot. It was really hot. You know, like I told you, I was trying to take one lap at a time because, you know, I, I didn't know the next lap how it was going to be. So it was really hot and kind of humid. When you look you back and saw Leonard there, there. Yeah, I was, what, what were your thoughts? Yeah, yeah. What, what went I through your mind? To go, I, was, I almost celebrated because I knew he was following me and I was really excited. I was really happy for him. For us, it means a lot for us. And you guys aren't the only two army members. Yesterday in the race block, another army member uh, made it. Sorry, another army member yeah, made it. Yeah. What does that mean to get three guys on the team already? It's really, really. We are. We represent the army. This is our job. We have to do, and you know, we got all us for this, and we have to accomplish it. It means a lot for us. How long have you and been training together? Uh, he just came out of basic training this year, so like a few months ago. So we've been training for. Like three months together. I went to Colorado Springs for like two months and then we went to Mammoth Lakes, California for altitude training. So we've been training for three months together. It's good to have a guy. Yeah, he's really nice. He's a really good guy. He, he, he pushes me a lot. And I have, we have a guy in 5K, Paul Cherimo, the one who made the wall indoors. And he tried to help me in the speed work and he's been good in long runs and tempo. So I have both at the end. So, so what, what's the goal?